Next Gen Energy was founded in December 2011 and its purpose was to acquire a dominant portfolio of exploration properties in the Athabasca Basin, Saskatchewan. In 2014, less than a year after being listed on the TSX Venture Exchange, NextGen discovered the Arrow Deposit. Arrow Deposit is located within our Rook One property. Uh, that is in the southwestern portion of the Athabasca Basin. It's located about 155 kilometers north of the village of Laloche along uh, Highway 955. We see the, the potential of this thing. I, I've got no doubt that this will be probably the biggest uh, uranium ore body found in the Athabasca. The company ranked Aero 7th of its 12 original targets, but ended up drilling at 3rd. We drilled at 3rd because we were drilling during the winter. We needed to be within 2 kilometres of the lake, uh, otherwise the water would freeze in the drill lines. And on the very first hole, the 21st hole on the property, but the very first hole at the arrow target, uh, we intersected mineralisation. The next hole we drilled 20 metres away and hit some more mineralisation. And we, we knew we were on to something very interesting right away. Uh, so it was exciting times. The guys then knuckled down, started drilling that deposit out, and the results just kept getting better all the time. So we drilled a vertical hole, targeting that intercept from hole 15, and this was hole 30. This hole goes down in the record books as one of the best in the Athabasca Basin in terms of uh, grade over core length interval. So the Maiden Aero Mineral Resource Estimate was based upon 82 drill holes, and uh, that resulted in an inferred a uh, resource of 201.9 million pounds at a grade of 2.63%. Uh, that was the largest maiden resource ever released in the Athabasca Basin. The relatively young exploration team employed the latest techniques to reveal this blind deposit. Arrow gives off very little signatures. You, it is like threading a needle in a haystack. We've used directional uh, drilling, Devico specifically, uh, which has really sped up the rapid um, development, delineation of the aero deposit. Recently we've been doing 3D resistivity surveys, fairly expensive technique, but that's really let us hone in on, on some pretty impressive areas of mineralisation. The guys have made some other tremendous discoveries around there, particularly Arrow South, which is shaping up to be a, a pretty substantial deposit in its own right. Everyone understands the magnitude of the project that we're working on. I mean, this is what we dream about. This is what every geologist, you know, everyone in the mining industry wants to be a part of a project like this. And the amazing thing about that discovery is that, you know, it's continued to grow. I think the guys have drilled now uh, 279 kilometres of drill holes on that, uh, that deposit. Still haven't found the, the boundaries of the deposit, so it's truly a remarkable deposit. A preliminary economic assessment was released in the summer of 2017. The company hopes to move quickly through the next stages. The financial highlights that came from that report exceeded our expectations and uh, I believe many others and really shows that uh, Arrow is on the path to becoming a mine. What we're about is not just uh, discovering something and selling it, we want to bring that deposit into production and of course the nature of that deposit means that it's, uh, it's going to be economic throughout the price cycle in uranium, um, something fairly unique in that, in that sense. Saskatchewan stands to benefit significantly from the development of Arrow, with an estimated $2.98 billion in royalties going to the province over the life of the mine. Quite a large task that we're given by moving and developing Arrow forward, and uh, everyone has to be on the same page, and that's exactly what we have with NextGen, so very proud of everyone.